Welcome back, you beautiful and crazy watch people. My name is Josh Town, and this is the Town Watch. Thank you for stopping by today. We have a watch from Spinnaker, a first for me here on the channel. This is on tour with Random Rob's Discord group, so shout out to them. I don't have the watch for very long, so this is not a full review. I'm just calling it an overview video, but let's take a peek and see what we have here from Spinnaker. This is called their Dumas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is the Bordeaux version. It has that maroon colored dial, that burgundy colored dial. And so let's take a peek at it. It is a larger watch. We'll get some dimensions here in a second. Definitely a unique case shape, kind of an octagonal case going on here. I can tell you this watch has some heft to it as well. Solid bracelet for sure. Uh, looks really rugged. You can get some shapes going on there with the links also. Some polishing as well. You do get a milled clasp uh, going here. I think, yep, there's a diver extension as well. Uh, some micro adjusts. You do get a Seiko NH35 movement. Uh, which we all are familiar with and a lot of brands use. Um, but yeah, interesting piece. Sapphire crystal here with some AR coating, 300 meters water resistance. And I believe Spinnaker also gives their watches two year warranties. So that is always a plus. Screw down crown. It is signed and everything seems to work okay as you set the time the date window at three o'clock has a black date wheel with white printing and interesting dial as well the way that they do the indices on this watch i think it's kind of cool how they're kind of attached to the outer portion of the dial and then there's that inner portion and they kind of uh, overhang onto that inner portion. So there's a step down that's going on here. Uh, it's pretty neat. We'll check the loom here in a second, but let's break out the calipers and get some measurements. All right, let's check the case diameter first. This one might be a little interesting to measure with this octagonal shape that's going on here, but from that edge to the other edge over there, I'm getting 45.7 millimeters. Just for kicks, let's check to the crown from the other side here. It's about 48.3 case thickness. This feels like a thick boy. It's fairly thick, 14.6 millimeters. Lug to lug distance, there's no real lugs here, but to each end it's about 48.2 and then the lug width is 22 millimeters those are the dimensions let me slap it on my 6.5 inch wrist we'll get a quick wrist shot all right there it is on my wrist i need to take out a couple more links but you can get the idea of how it looks on a wrist size like mine so in six and a half inches it's definitely big, but I think I probably could pull it off if I had to, although it wouldn't be my first choice. Let me shut the lights off. We'll check the loom. All right, there it is. A quick loom shot. Charged it up just briefly with my UV flashlight, and it's coming in pretty good. Very legible, even at night, as you can tell with all that loom. The bezel is also loomed, which is a cool touch I always enjoy. Uh, so... Pretty impressed with that. The bezel on this watch has, I think, a mineral crystal insert, and we need to test out that bezel action. The sound is okay. Not any real back play, but this is hard to turn for sure. I don't know if it's just the way it's sitting on the case. You can't really get a good grip or what but it is a little bit hard to turn i'm finding here and i went past just a little bit i think but uh, yeah that bezel not the greatest 
I do again like the legibility of this watch, that large a minute hand, and you're not gonna have trouble reading this dial and checking the time. So what are some likes about this watch that I have after just having it for a short amount of time? Uh, I do like the looks of this dial. I think that legibility is really good and this watch feels like a solid piece. 300 meters water resistance is really great, much more than you'll probably ever need, but it's a hefty piece for sure, definitely well built. Uh, dislikes uh, is the size for me. Uh, it is a little bit too big. I could pull it off, but uh, I don't really prefer watches of this size. And it is heavy too, uh, so keep that in mind. The design is okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that octagonal case shape going on here. And the last dislike, I think, has to be that bezel. Not the greatest action, and yeah it's hard to use so you guys let me know what you think about this spinnaker dumas down in the comments below i'd love to interact with you there please leave a like on this video if you liked it always appreciate that but i think that's it for today here on the town watch thank you for stopping by we'll see you next time